Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to this CarTech video. In this video we're going to be doing a short uh, demonstration and review of the iCarSoft FR version 2.0 kit. Uh, the kit is available at Diagnostic World, it's www.diagnostic-world.com. I'm going to put a link to this kit in the description below this video. So the FR version 2.0 kit is a multi-system diagnostic code reader scan tool scanner and it works on Citroen and uh, well French vehicles so it works on Citroen, uh, Peugeot, Renault and Dacia. Right now we are in a Peugeot, it's a Peugeot 206 here and we have a few warning lights on the dashboard here which we'll get into in a moment uh, but for now we have the tool plugged in to the diagnostic port and um, what I'll do is I'll show you so, through some of the menus first of all so first of all we have the diagnostics it's not touch screen sorry I'm just you use these buttons here to navigate around the screen so first of all we look at the diagnostic section and that will uh, allow us to go in and diagnose you know your warning lights so any of these warning lights that you have on uh, that is what's going to allow you to go in diagnose get a fault code erase the fault code and hopefully get rid of the warning light uh, in the service option or the service section of the tool um, click on to service and it's got a bit of fiber here which is seems to be there it is. Um, we've got oil service reset, electronic parking brake, new battery registration, electronic throttle control, steering angle sensor, DPF, ABS brake bleeding and injector coding. Now it is important to note with these functions here they don't work exactly on every single vehicle so it's best to actually give us a shout send us an email and uh, we'll check for you to see if it works on your specific vehicle best thing to do is uh, include your VIN number within the vehicle and that will allow us to check a lot quicker but I'll put the email address in the description below this video so those are th these are classed as special functions okay um, after that, just battery voltage, it's a really basic voltage test. Uh, minimums and maximums from this particular test, obviously that is live data, so it's going to give you, well, it's unreadable basically because it's too quick, but these are the figures that you really need to take care of or take note of. Um, then this section, say for example you also had a vehicle in your family or your friends which wasn't a French vehicle, so let's say you had a BMW, an Audi, a Seat, Skoda, Mercedes, this option here will allow you to diagnose engine faults within those vehicles as well so it's quite handy um, it also works on other vehicles to an extent now when you are uh, reading faults or reading live data I'll show you some live data in a moment uh, it also allows you to record the data and what this section here is is allowing you to review the data so we haven't re we haven't recorded any data as yet um, but that's where you would look back at the data that which you had previously recorded on the tool uh, DTC lookup so say for example you wanted to look up a P0 um, I don't know 204 fault code cylinder 4 injector A circuit so it, it, if you if you wanted to know what a certain fault code meant, then by all means that gives you the description. Um, then a setup of the tool. There's a few different sections. Uh, you got languages, uh, Dutch, uh, sorry German, Dutch, French, Spanish, English, uh, unit of measure, metric or imperial, the buzzer, on or off. I mean I'll put it on, but I think it's quite annoying, so I always just keep it off got a log you can keep the log on or off clear all data from the tool and then you can also do a factory reset of the tool so that's the setup section help just gives you bits of information about what is OBD OBD2 modes vehicle coverage etc and final one is about so it gives you software information gives you serial numbers uh, pa passwords when you're updating um, and so on so that is the the menu system in a nutshell what we'll do now is get to diagnosing and resetting these warning lights if we can uh, I'm going to go into the diagnostic section as I mentioned earlier and we're going to click on to uh, Peugeot which is what we're in right now select the latest software version and then we're going to select our specific vehicle so we're in a 206 
and we're going to manually select the system which we wish to diagnose so this every car is different so you for example may have a Peugeot 3008 to 5008 you know a new 28 or something like that the list you see here is completely different so for the 206 these are the systems that it will give us access to providing they are installed within the vehicle okay so it's uh, it's 18 in total uh, so first of all what we're going to do is I think I'll go to the SRS airbag section and we'll see if we'll show you the tool diagnosing a fault in the airbag system so that's what we've got we've got 0A02 level of driver module trigger to short circuit now to a lot of people that probably doesn't mean a great deal you might get this fault code and think what does that mean don't worry about it because what we advise you to do and you'll always find the answer if you type this information into Google there will always be somebody else who's had this fault and they will it will explain exactly what the fault is and how to fix it in this particular case we simply unclicked it clipped an airbag connection behind this airbag here so if you take this off there's an airbag connection there and an airbag connection there uh, we simply unclipped it and then clipped it back in but it caused a trigger it triggered the airbag light which is why you see it on screen there so what I'll do is just show you how this tool will work to actually reset the fault so let's say for example you would found your fault you've uh, you've put everything back together you've put in maybe a new sensor in or something like that click on to clear fault memory and when I click OK here just keep an eye on the airbag light and there we go it's gone erase operation done on screen and it's quite easy to do same goes we're gonna go to the ABS now it's active safety click on to enter click on to read fault codes and we've got C1330 right hand front wheel sensor signal fault uh, wheel sensor is an ABS fault or it's also known as a speed sensor a wheel speed sensor um, again if you weren't sure though type the information into Google it will tell you exactly what the fault is and what the problem is um, but again what we're going to do here is to click on to read uh, sorry clear fault memory click OK this time it's not going to turn off straight away because for the ABS system you need to back out of the ABS system within the tool so once I come out of this system exiting now keep an eye on the ABS light there we go that's gone um, so the FR version 2.0 kit is holding up pretty well so far and then finally we've got the check engine light so we'll just do go to the uh, ECM or engine control module now this sometimes it depends it, it, it's a something which is a possible fault with the vehicle not the tool and I'm going to show you sometimes if we go in it's working fine here but sometimes if we go in you might get a link error when trying to connect to the engine uh, if that happens just start the stop the engine start again and you should be okay but in this case it's worked absolutely fine uh, so what I'm going to do here is show you the fault code we were getting P0204 injector number 4 control open circuit remember before at the start of the video when I we went into the DTC library and I put this fault in well it's coming up with the same information so um, it, sh it shows that the information is correct and you can trust the information which is coming from the ECU so for this one all we did is unclipped the electrical connection into injector number four and then we've put it back in click on to uh, actually the check it the engine system is a little bit different to all the others like the ABS and the airbags because what you need to do is you need to completely come out of the engine system okay you need to turn the engine off but keep the ignition on so keep the battery on keep the, the ignition on there go back in to the engine system click on clear fault memory are you sure you wish to continue erase operation done and now we'll start the engine again just keep an eye on the check engine light and there we go it's disappeared we've got erase operation done the reason you have to do it like that is because um, it won't allow you to actually erase the fault codes while the engine is running so if you try to do it while the engine is running you'd get a erase operation failure message um, or telling you to turn the engine off put the ignition on um, so that's that might help you in fact because uh, we do get a lot of people saying well why won't it why won't it erase the trouble codes when I fix the fault and that's exactly why um, so that is that will it give us live data Depending if, um, yeah, it will. 
so I mean there's lots of different sections in which you can get live data from this tool um, but here's just just a few of them the coolant temperature engine speed so you can see if I was to put my foot on the accelerator here oh I've gone too far oh it's come up with not applicable why is that going on and off for some reason it might be something to do with the connection but um, you know you got lots more live data there uh, emission control so you can get you can get if you press F1 and then F2 to start you can get this lots of information um, you can press F1 to get the information in waveform so it's like graphing information and you can get the graphing data for any module which you select so let's say you wanted the graphing data for the engine speed so we just click on F1 there we go so it's currently giving us 760 max 60 720 put our foot on the accelerator I think it just needs a little time to catch up there but in any case, that's how the, uh, it seems to be going not applicable and coming, coming back on and coming back off. Um, but like I say, I think that's to do with the uh, the connection. It's more to do with the vehicle than the actual uh, tool itself. But in any case, you can get live data for any system, really. You can get live data for your ABS sensors, I believe. So if we click on view data, application, dynamic information, there we go, so you can click on F1 for all of them and F2 to start. So it's telling us, front, we've obviously got, we're not moving at the moment, so that's why it's giving us zero kilometers per hour. But if we were moving, and one of the sensors was faulty, say for example the front left would stay zero, the rest of them would tell you what speed the car is doing. Uh, so that's interesting, uh, good information to get. There's lot, loads of different sections. You can even get live airbag information. Any real system you can get live data from. Um, but that is, in a nutshell, I guess, how it works. Um, like I say, you've got your service menu as well, which is a really uh, good option. These are real, real functions. And this, what this ultimately does is it puts the power in your hands because, you know, every time you go to a garage, it's going to charge you 50 or 60 pounds to hook it up to their diagnostic tool. Um, whereas if you, if you buy one of these tools, you know, you, it's already paid for itself two or three times after you've used it. Um, really, really, really useful tool for any Peugeot, Citroen, Dacia and Renault owner. I hope this video has helped you. I hope the car tech video has helped you um, maybe making a decision. There is also another tool, the, um, the lower down version, it's a cheaper version, is the CP version 1.0. So that will also allow you to diagnose and reset all of these faults. But the only thing you don't get is these options here. where well, you do get the oil service, but you don't get anything else. Um, so I'll put the link, I'll put the link to these kits in the description below this video. And um, yeah, that's about it. If you've got any questions, then by all means, I'll put the email address in the description below this video as well. And uh, hit us up using that email address if you do have any questions about this tool. It's available at Diagnostic World, www.diagnostic-world.com. And I'm going to put a link to this kit in the description below the video. Thanks for watching this CarTech video, and I hope this helps.